Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So in this one here, I want to do another Q&A video. Again, I did two of them this week. This is the second part. Thank you guys so much for all your questions. And I guess before we do jump in, I do have to warn you, obviously, for spoilers for season 10 of The Walking Dead. That's episodes 1 to 15. And also, if you're interested, make sure to go follow me on Instagram. That's just at Music Man on Terror Street. The link for that should be down below. But let's jump into this Q&A. Q&A, what do you think Carol's main storyline will be when the Commonwealth arc begins? That's hard to say because she was the big focus of the season. I would say season 10 was Carol's season. Because if you think about what Daryl's done really all season, it's not really a lot. Like, he's been really trying to help Carol out and doing things like that. Michonne also wasn't really that big of a part of the season at all. If you think about it, she showed up in, what, three or four episodes in the first half and then just had this last one here. So, out of those main characters, uh, it was Carol. Carol had the main storyline this season, and I don't think she's going to get that for season 11. I think the, the character who's going to get the biggest storyline is going to be Maggie. And in terms of where Carol's going to fit in season 11 with the Commonwealth, I see three paths, kind of. I think she's going to be dealing a lot with, with Maggie, and maybe Maggie is more okay with the Commonwealth, and she wants to, to help all her communities and, and allow the Commonwealth to help, to help the Hilltop and Alexandria. Maybe Carol's really against it. I think there's something there that they can do. Also with Negan, Carol allowed Negan out, and they, you know, they did all of that. Maggie could have issues with that. Carol might vouch for Negan now. And then obviously a feud can happen there between Carol and Maggie. There is also Ezekiel because he is sick right now. So what do they do with that? You know, I have a feeling that Carol is going to be really involved in that. If she can get to the Commonwealth with Ezekiel and stuff anyway. So I don't know. We'll see. It's probably going to be all three storylines. And it's going to be just she'll be mixed in with all of that. Q&A, do you think the guy in the mask could really be Morgan? And they brought him back so that he can actually find Dwayne at the Commonwealth. I don't think it's Morgan at all. I just, I really don't think it's Morgan. I don't think they would have his reveal like that. Also, the character was in like, in like this defense position when he saw Eldon and Aaron. So we know that Aaron and Morgan know each other for sure, right? Morgan, I'm pretty sure met Eldon, but it's possible that they just never, like, obviously he, he might not remember him. He should remember Eldon though, for sure. Obviously Morgan, he probably met Eldon, but they, it's possible that they, they only knew each other for for such a short amount of time, it's possible he just doesn't remember. But he should remember Aaron for sure. And because he's on Fear the Walking Dead, I just, I don't see it. I really don't think it's Morgan. Now, it could be Dwayne, which I know is a pretty out there idea. It does seem a little ridiculous, but it doesn't seem that ridiculous. I, I think a couple years ago, I thought it was just really ridiculous. But it really isn't when you consider the fact that the way Morgan explained his son's death, it's so, like, it's, you're able to write yourself out of that easily. We didn't see the death. We know Morgan went crazy, and you could argue, well, he went crazy after his wife killed his son, then he had to put them both down sort of thing. Well, that's just from his point of view. Maybe he thought that's what happened. Maybe Dwayne actually killed his mom. His mom fell on top of him, and he went crazy. He tried to kill his son, or his, you know, he tried to put them both down or something, but maybe he really hurt Dwayne. Dwayne was knocked out, but he woke up later. Maybe that didn't even happen. There's such an easy way to write yourself out of that when you take into consideration what does happen in the comics during the commonwealth arc like michonne literally finds out the same exact thing she finds out her daughter that she thought died in the very beginning of the apocalypse is actually still alive so i think it's possible i think it's it's really it's, it seems ridiculous but i've watched so many tv shows that have had crazier reveals that's not too ridiculous and out there i it really isn't q a do you think connie could be one of the whispers that surrounded aaron and Elden? Or could she be at, at Oceanside and Virgil finds her? Um, I don't think Connie was one of the Whisperers just because in the opening minutes we do see Eldon and Aaron actually fighting the Whisperers. So I don't think Connie is there. Now as for could she be at Oceanside and Virgil finds her, that's totally possible. Because that is going to be some kind of reveal in this final episode is what happened to Connie. Everyone's saying, just wait, like you're, you're going to see... Norman Reedus, I'm pretty sure, teased that. A lot of people have been teasing, like we will find out what happens to Connie. We only have one episode left, so we're going to find out in the finale. I just don't think Virgil's going to find her because I feel like the reveal is going to be to Daryl. I think they're going to reveal that she survived to Daryl, and it could be a happy ending, to be honest. It could be when Daryl finds Connie, he just gets so happy that he actually kisses her or something like that, which would be so weird because Daryl's never done that on the show, right? They could change the Andrea and Rick thing to being more of a happier moment where for this whole time, Daryl's believed her to be dead, but she actually is alive and actually is happy. It's a happy ending and those two characters can fall in love, which will, I'm sure, one day eventually lead in some kind of death and sadness, but they'll be happy for a little bit. I guess that's what counts. Q&A, do you think Eugene will meet Stephanie soon? Will Daryl and Connie have a romantic relationship when she returns? Who will be the big death? Well, 
yes, Eugene will most likely meet Stephanie soon. We could get her introduction in the finale. We could actually see her. It depends on whether or not they actually casted her, and it's possible that they didn't yet. I mean, they did cast the voice, so obviously it has to be the voice. So I'm sure whoever was cast for the part, like, it has to be that actress. As for whether or not she's going to appear in the finale, I feel like she, there's there's a really good chance that she could. And I would probably place my bets on that happening, but I just don't know exactly if that's going to happen. I don't know if the reveal to Eugene is just the Commonwealth troops coming out of those train carts and it's just a lot. Like, there's 20 to 30 of them that surround them and they're just shocked by the Commonwealth troops and their armor and stuff and, you know, just the whole look of them. That's the cliffhanger for the season. Or if Stephanie also comes out with them, if that does happen, you, you could get more scenes there. I don't know. It's definitely possible. If it doesn't happen in a season 10 finale, it is for sure happening in a season 11 premiere. That's what's kind of exciting. The season 11 premiere will deal with where they're at. It will deal with the Commonwealth for sure. As for will Daryl and Connie have a romantic relationship when she returns, I'm sure there's going to be something there. Like there's even if Connie does die because she takes Andrea's death, she has a bite mark and she does die. There's going to be some kind of romance thing there where Daryl just, you know, says, I, I love you and whatever. And I don't even know if he would ever say that, but he'll do it in his Daryl way, right? I think there will be something there. If she does die, it's going to be really sad. They might kiss or something like that. There will be something there. If she lives, I think there will also be something there because of what happened with the cave thing. And because of what Carol's been saying to Daryl, like, I know you like her and stuff, right? She's been saying that to him all season. Definitely going forward, there will be something. I think their next step, once they actually meet each other again, it will be that. And as for who will be the big death, there's going to be multiple deaths, and I, I'm going to be talking about that in a future video. Q&A, could the new mass character be Mercer, the head of security in the Commonwealth, by any chance? Yes, definitely. And I'm going to be doing a video on that, actually, because I think there's a really good chance that if it's not Dwayne, which I mean, I think with Dwayne, it could work. But I just don't know if this character is Dwayne, you know, like Dwayne could just be a random character at the Commonwealth that we that we see in season 11 sort of thing. But and even then, I feel like the chances of that, I feel like definitely they can do it if they wanted to. They can write themselves out of how, you know, insane it would sound with with what happened to him in season one, two, three around there. But I just think in reality of them actually doing that, I, I just don't really know. So this character character being Mercer, I would place my bets more on it being Mercer just because it's it's it makes a lot more sense. The thing is, Mercer, if they did do this and I'll talk about this in that separate video, they're doing more of an origin story for this character. Maybe he rises in ranks and he gets his orange armor eventually. And this is just him kind of in the beginning. Who knows? But yeah, this new mask character could definitely be Mercer or it could be a new character. I'm totally OK with it being a new character. Q&A, how do you think Maggie will reunite with our characters? I think it's going to be something where they're trapped and there's so many walkers around. Maybe Beta's dead at this point or he just ran away or something. But I think they're going to be trapped and it's, it's going to feel like there's just no way out. And then Maggie will show up with Commonwealth troops and then just wipe everyone out. I actually just I have this vision in my head that all this stuff at the train yard with Eugene, the princess and the Commonwealth introduction, all that. Is going to happen like earlier in the episode. And then later on, when they're all trapped, all of them actually return. Or it's possible that Maggie just takes troops with her, right? And what happens at the train yard, just that, that stays there. But Maggie also just brings some troops of, up from the Commonwealth on her own. She's definitely going to be returning and saving people. Like, that's for sure. Q&A, do you think that this ninja man is one of the twins that were with Georgie in season 8? Probably not. <laughs> I don't even know if we're going to be seeing those twins again, to be honest. I feel like we probably could. Like, for sure. But, yeah, I don't know. We haven't seen those twins in a while. I, I don't think this person here is one of the twins. I think that'd be really insane. But I don't know who this is. So, as of now, anything is possible. Q&A, how brief do you think the Commonwealth's appearance is going to be in the finale? I don't think it's going to be that brief. But I don't think it's going to be the main focus of the episode, obviously. Because the main focus is on the Whisper War, Beta attack in this hospital, or the tower, apparently. So, I think we will see them. And I think out of, like, a 40-50 minute episode, they'll take up, like, five minutes of screen time five to like eight minutes of screen time i think if maggie does return with them and that's like the, that's the big part of it i think we'll get the reveal of them and that can be a few minutes like three to four minutes or two to three minutes two to three four minutes around there but if maggie returns with the commonwealth and and they like wipe out this horde because they have all these automatic weapons blah 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 then that will obviously take like five minutes so i could say like yeah five to eight minutes maybe ten minutes I don't know if you would call that brief. To me, when you say brief, it's like uh, a short 30 second scene or a minute scene, right? Like they just kind of show up or something. I think they'll be in it a little bit more than that. And yeah, it's hard to say. I just want to watch this episode so bad already. Q&A, which show characters will take the place of Comic Rick and Comic Dwight? This is something that I'm having a lot of fun talking about, actually, in my season 11 video that I'm working on. 
and I'll, I'll kind of save it for then, but someone has to take that, I will say, and I, I mean, whoever does, it's going to be really shocking because Rick and Dwight are on the same side, but certain characters don't see eye to eye because of what happens at the end of the Whisperer arc and certain things that happen with Sherry's death and all that because Rick killed Sherry and also some other things with how Rick was leading and all that Dwight had a lot of issues with. Now it seemed like Rick was starting to join the Commonwealth and Dwight was like, what's your problem, blah, blah, blah. Rick wasn't fully deciding to join the Commonwealth, but he he wanted to keep the peace and Dwight was acting insane. He wanted to just kill Pamela and, and just, you know, so Rick was like, if he kills Pamela right now, all these troops are going to kill us all. So I, I have to kill Dwight. And so he does. And it, it's a shocking moment. So as for what characters are going to get that, I imagine that's going to be a big season 11 mid season finale thing. But I don't know. It's it's we'll, we'll have to wait and see on that. And again, I'll, I'll talk about that more in my season 11 video. It's going to be a huge moment for sure. Q&A, basically an unrelated question, but do you think we will ever see Morgan, Dwight or Sherry on the main show again? If so, how could they come back? Well, I guess this is kind of connected a little bit to the question I just answered, but they could come back for season 11 if it's possible. That would be awesome. I mean, could you imagine Dwight actually getting his comic book death? That would be sad because we just got him back for one season and he gets it. But as for, do you think we will ever see them on the on the main show again? I think we will see them on the main show again for sure. I don't know about Sherry, but for sure Morgan or Dwight. We will get them on the main show again. I just, I don't know when. It might be season 12, 13, or 14. Season 11, maybe... I'm more just following Fear the Walking Dead and seeing what ha what's happening there. We'll have to wait and see, to be honest. And because the show is so far back in time, we have to see what happens there. I definitely think it's possible. I just don't know if we're going to get it in season 11 or 12. It might be after that sort of thing. But thank you guys so much for asking all these questions. I really enjoyed doing all this. I will be asking for more questions next week. So if you have any questions for me, just post them then. Make sure to go follow me on Instagram. It's just at Music Man on Terror Street. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed the video.